Hi, I'm Taylor Kutra, and I'm an astronomer at the University of Toronto. I study how to form all the wonderful and weird planets that are found throughout the galaxy. Lots. Recent studies estimate that there should be about 100 billion Earth-sized planets in the galaxy, and then there's other types. So there should be about 300 to 900 billion super-Earths and sub-Neptunes, and then on top of that, there are the Jupiter-like planets. There should be about 10 billion of those. So if you add all that up, that's about a trillion planets, which is about 10 for every person that's ever lived. No, we only currently know of about 4,000 exoplanets. And that's because we haven't been searching for very long, and they're pretty hard to find. Particularly the ones that are, we are interested in for habitability's sake, the ones that kind of look like Earth. So the way we answer that question is by first figuring out how many stars are in the galaxy, and then figuring out the frequency at which a given planet forms. So first, we know that there are about 100,000 to a trillion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And then, by doing surveys of stars and looking for planets, we can figure out how many of those stars host a particular type of planet. So, about 18% of stars host Earth-sized planets. About 30 to 50% of stars host super-Earth or sub-Neptune type planets and about 1% of stars host a Jupiter-like planet. But then this story is further complicated by the fact that some planets like to be in a system by themselves, and some planets prefer to be in a system with siblings. So the super-Earths and sub-Neptunes, for example, they mostly form in systems with about three super-Earths and sub-Neptunes. So 30% of the stars have about three planets, and so adding all of the, that up, that's how we get to a trillion planets. Most of these studies that look for the probability or frequency which, with which a planet forms are done using the transit method. This is when a planet passes in front of a star and blocks a bit of the light. Satellites like TESS, Kepler and Plato, which is launching in 2026, do this for a bunch of stars all over the night sky. The James Webb Telescope will also be able to do this and then follow up and determine the atmospheres of these planets. 